name is Ronald McTorg, and we have some breaking news for you guys today. Just the other day, Lil Clorox the alien got all of his arms broken off. What? Yes, literally all his arms are broken off. So we are here to interview him today to see exactly what happened. Let's head over to him. Lil Clorox, can you tell the viewers what happened and why both of your arms got broken off? I was sitting at my favorite tree, and a portal came up and started beating me off. <laughs> <laughs> Continue. <laughs> oh my goodness, that is super sad. <laughs> Wait a minute! According to my good bird's eye view, the dangerous pool noodle that beat up those floor rocks is right over here! We gotta go get revenge on him for little claw rocks! I'm coming for you, orange pool noodle! Ah! Take this! Yes! Victory is mine! That's what you deserve for taking little Clorox's arm! They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Yo, did you get that cameraman? Yeah, I got it. Yo, this is gonna be all over the news. I gotta go take this to the station! A few moments later. See what's on TV? Wait! Is that my backyard? What the heck? Say what? What in the world just happened? I think the news people are already gone. Yo, for real toy fam, what is up and welcome to a brand new video. Now, I'm not really quite sure what just happened, but it definitely happened. But what we're gonna actually be doing in today's video is super crazy because we just got something working that approximately one year ago, three months, 77 days, four hours, 29 minutes, and 27 seconds ago, we tried to fix this thing. But unfortunately, we couldn't fix it. Rest in peace. But now we got it working due to our super professional skills. So here it is, introducing the TORG Power Wheels G. So yes, this thing is super legitness. Legitness. And it's literally the coolest thing I've ever had in my entire life. Now the reason it's on a trailer right now is because we just got back from the shop. Because they just fixed it for us. Let's get it off of here. So I started letting the gate down first. I pulled out this clip and then I pulled out the pin. And then I went to the other side and did the same exact thing. It is now time for me to use my super manly muscles to let this super heavy gate down. Let's do this. Let's do this. Now we gotta let it down very gently. So I started letting it down very gently. Then something happened. Oh, no. Dear Lord. Let's back this bad boy up. Now I got my helmet right here to make sure I'm safe and protected. Protected. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's put it in reverse. I'm gonna hit the throttle. Oh no. That's definitely not reverse. It's time for round two. I'm just gonna set it. I'm good! Let's take this baby for a spin! So it took off my 500 horsepower power wheels and I tried to drive under the field goal but it didn't work so I headed towards the pond. Then I almost fell in the oh, pond! God. We almost went in the pond! Alright, let's continue! This thing is super complicated! And we don't need this thing anyway! I started moving the power wheel jeep, but it didn't have enough power, so I got out and pulled it over to my destination. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Look, it's the monster truck! I want to race the RC monster truck in my brand new super fast turbocharged jeep power wheel. Let's do it! Do it! Are you ready to race me? Nope. Well, I'm ready. Here we go in three, two, one, go! It's not working! Come on, I'm gonna win! 
No! Stupid power wheels, you stop working on me! This makes me so mad! Well, unfortunately, I just absolutely demolished the Power Wheels G. I guess I'm gonna have to send it back to the mechanic to fix it for us. Which is probably gonna be super expensive. So please go smash the thumbs up button right now. I would greatly appreciate it because one like equals one prayer for the Power Wheel. But you know what? Now that the Power Wheels is broken, let's just jump the RC truck. 12 seconds later. This is the most dangerous jump I've ever done for the monster truck. I'm just gonna do it. <laughs> That did not work. That's a lot of damage. No, that's a lot of damage. Let's see if we can drive up the torque van. I'm gonna jump it all. I really do hope you all enjoyed today's beginning part of the video. We will see you guys in today's main part of the video, so peace out until then. What's this? I still have a pumpkin? No way! Alright guys, for real, what is up and welcome to today's main part of the video. In today's main part of the video, what we are going to be doing is setting up a trap to try to capture either Spongebob Squarepants, Patrick Starr, or Mr. Krabs. Because you guys will remember in this video right here, which was just a few videos ago, Spongebob, Patrick, and Mr. Krabs all escaped because we had already captured them in past videos. So I got this shovel right here to help us make today's trap. I'm going to do a trap that I've never done before. So hopefully this works. I also have the crusty crab and a fake Krabby Patty to help us lure either SpongeBob Patrick or Mr. Krabs into the trap that we're gonna be making. So without any further ado, let's head over to the pond and set this trap up. Come on. So now the first thing that we need to do is dig a giant hole. And that's gonna be the main part of the trap. So I started digging a super ginormous hole. I stuck the shovel in the dirt, yeeted yeah. it behind me, and then went for one more yeah. scoop. Now we gotta wait for all this dust to clear up so we can see the hole. Two hours later. All right, so it's been a little while now, and we went ahead and fully set the trap up. Now, as you guys can see right here where we dug with the shovel, it's super deep, and there's literally a ginormous hole right there. And basically what I did is I took two sticks and ran them across the hole and set the crusty crab on top of the two sticks. And so underneath the crusty crab is literally the giant hole that we dug. So now I'm gonna take the Krabby Patty and put it inside of the giant hole. So hopefully the smell will help attract one of them to the trap. So now, hopefully what happens is that hopefully Patrick, Spongebob, or Mr. Krabs will try to walk inside of the Krusty Krab to get the Krabby Patty. And whenever they do, they'll literally just fall right into the ginormous hole and will be trapped inside and will not be able to get out. So guys, now that our trap is all set up, all we can literally do now is just wait. So we're gonna come back out here later and check on the trap to see if we have captured Spongebob, Patrick, or Mr. Krabs. So I guess we'll see you guys in like a few hours whenever we come back out here. Six hours later. All right, so it's been a little while now, and as you guys can see, the sun is starting to set right behind me. And so we're gonna head out here right now to the pond to check to see if the trap worked before it gets like super dark outside. So let's go. All right, so approximately three meters ahead is where we set the trap up at. Let's see if we got anything. Yo, guys, what in the world? Look! The Krusty Krab is like falling over! Is that SpongeBob down there? I think he's in our trap! I gotta get him out! No way! Guys, look! We just captured SpongeBob SquarePants in real life again! No way, he was just inside of our trap! The Krusty Krab trap with the giant hole work! Yes, let's go! Oh my gosh! Guys, look! There's something sticking out of SpongeBob! Like, literally, one of his breathing holes right here is opened up, and there's something sticking out of him! So I guess we, like, literally just found something inside of SpongeBob! I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out to see what it is! Alright, here goes nothing! Oh my gosh! Oh my god! It's some sort of piece of paper! And it's all rolled up! Let's unroll it real quick! 
Say what? Say it's some what? sort of note or something. No way. It's in super small writing. SpongeBob must have literally wrote it. Let's try to read it to see what it says on it. It says, let me and Squidward go and leave us alone. Guys, according to this note, SpongeBob is literally telling us that he wants us to let him and Squidward go. Because in this video right here, we literally captured Squidward tentacles in real life as well. And SpongeBob is telling us to let both of them go. So guys, go in the comment section down below right now and let me know what you guys think about this. Should we listen to SpongeBob and let him and Squidward both go? Or what do you think it is that we should do? But I'm gonna go and take SpongeBob inside right now before he like tries to escape or something. So we will see you guys next time on a brand new video with TORG, aka that one random ginger. Peace out. Wait, I still got more of a pumpkin. Here you go, fishies. Yeah. Oh yeah! Oh yeah!